by his uh, uh, last words being, it's the law. Uh, greetings. This is Top Hat and Buttered Popcorn. My name is John Sabers. I'm your host. And today we'll take a look at a recent film, Les Miserables, uh, based on uh, Victor Hugo's novel. Uh, this film uh, starred Liam Neeson as um, Jean Valjean, Jeffrey Rush as Inspector Javert, Uma Thurman as Fantine, Claire Danes as Cosette, and uh, Hans uh, Matheson as a young revolutionary. Uh, this film is uh, very well made uh, historical uh, piece, um, and uh, it's a bit grimmer, grittier, and shaded than the uh, other recent uh, historical piece, uh, The Man in the Iron Mask. But uh, at any rate, um, I think well executed uh, in terms of uh, production, um, uh, camera work, uh, lighting, and so forth to achieve a realistic look. Uh, the acting, I think, is strong uh, with perhaps Claire Danes uh, being the least effective. The uh, storyline is something like this. Uh, it's fairly well known, actually. Uh, a um, man is uh, tossed into prison for stealing a loaf of bread. Uh, uh, he manages to uh, escape. The, uh, the burden is pursued for 20 years by an inspector, uh, and uh, the um, uh, difficulties between the two are resolved in a surprising twist at the end. The uh, film opens up with uh, Liam Neeson's um, Jean Valjean appearing in a very wild uh, and desperate uh, condition. Um, uh, he's ragged, dirty, fuzzy, and um, he's out on the streets uh, in uh, a generally rustic area. Uh, he's looking for food, he's hungry, he uh, is advised uh, by a, a person who um, uh, he had asked for food uh, uh, he, uh, to go knock at uh, a door just down the way a piece. Uh, it turns out to be the residence of a priest. Uh, the door is opened by his housekeeper. She's a little frightened at his appearance and um, uh, would uh, basically have uh, shooed him away. But the, uh, the old priest happened by at that time uh, and invited the uh, desperate, uh, hungry, uh, Jean Valjean to enter. Uh, this priest uh, uh, then allows him to eat his fill. Uh, in the process, he uh, notices the silver flatware and uh, other indications of wealth within the, um, the priest's abode. And um, that night, he uh, starts bagging, stealing uh, as much silver plate uh, silverware as he can, flatware. Uh, he is uh, discovered by the uh, priest uh, who um, uh, he smacks and uh, escapes uh, with the uh, loot. Uh, he is subsequently captured by men at arms, gendarmes, and um, returned uh, to the abode of the priest. Uh, the gendarmes uh, tell the priest that uh, they had captured the guy with this uh, bag full of uh, silver flatware uh, that uh, he says the priest had given him. Well, uh, to the great surprise of the gendarmes, the priest uh, confirms this and says uh, to the man, uh, Valjean, uh, why didn't you take the uh, uh, the silver plate and the silver candlesticks also, and, and basically chided him for walking off without these other goods. Uh, he then instructed his um, uh, housekeeper to go and fetch uh, this silverware. 
uh, and put it in a bag for the uh, man uh, to take. Uh, well, he, Valjean, is a little stunned by this, and uh, uh, so are the police, uh, very surprised. Uh, the uh, gendarmes uh, release uh, Valjean, uh, and uh, he goes off uh, with all the loot, uh, much, um, with much food for thought. Also, it turns out that this priest is uh, not only tough, but uh, a wise fellow. Uh, the uh, camera cuts, uh, we have a, a period of time passing of several years, and uh, we find Jean Valjean, now prosperous, uh, the owner of a uh, plate factory. He's the mayor of this uh, provincial town uh, and a well-respected re figure. He's using another name also. Uh, he uh, has a factory which is rather advanced uh, uh, for the time. He is um, humane to his workers. He has, based, for the most part, female workers. Uh, there is a quid pro quo, that is, that um, uh, these needy women um, who work for him or are given jobs in the factory uh, must live a virtuous life. Uh, as a mayor, he is uh, uh, thought to be um, a kind of a quiet, uh, strong, silent type. Uh, and uh, his days of prosperity and content are about to end because the uh, papers of the new inspector in the area, Javert, are given to him. Uh, this particular individual, a uh, play by Jeffrey Rush, um, is a man who is uh, strong uh, uh, in the law, supporting of the law, rigid in his understanding of it, uh, the performance by Jeffrey Rush is uh, quite good. I think, uh, however, that somebody such as James Wood could have uh, probably done as well. Uh, at any rate, uh, Jeffrey Rush does present his papers to uh, uh, the uh, mayor. Uh, the mayor is somewhat informal, and uh, this is um, really not uh, uh, well suited to the temperament of uh, Inspector Javert. Uh, he sort of makes a note of that in a negative way. Uh, this is the sort of the beginning of uh, increasing internal rancor, rankling uh, uh, felt by uh, Inspector Javert toward uh, this mayor. Now, uh, there are a couple of instances in this particular uh, story in which both the um, a Liam Neeson uh, character, Valjean, and also Jeffrey Rush have flashbacks uh, to uh, the days at the prison quarry, for as it turns out, Inspector uh, Javert was at this prison quarry at the same time that Jean Valjean was. He does not immediately recognize the mayor as Jean Valjean. Um, the appearance, the time, um, uh, all different. Um, but uh, this would there'd be a recognition which comes in time and causes problems for the mayor. But his first problem brewing is at the factory because the character played by Yuma Thurman uh, is uh, found out by the uh, factory uh, overseer, the woman who sort of uh, keeps an eye on, um, on the girls, the young women. Uh, it turns out that she has had a child out of wedlock, a love child, uh, has kept it secret, uh, has been supporting this child, and um, this uh, causes uh, the overseer to bring the woman Fantine uh, before uh, the mayor in his capacity as the factory owner. Uh, Valjean's uh, new persona, and uh, he listens. He's somewhat um, distracted by the uh, appearance of Inspector Javert. Uh, he does not uh, uh, show too much compassion uh, for to uh, Fantine. Uh, in fact, uh, she's hardly allowed to defend herself. Uh, she spits in his face and uh, is kind of shown the door. Uh, he is sort of forgiving of this uh, episode, but um, 
Nevertheless, he does not fully understand her situation. Now, Fantine is in a pretty tough spot at this point in time. Uh, she lives in a bare uh, sort of uh, rooming abode. Uh, she has a, a bedroom. Um, it's um, a very budget. The um, landlord is asking for money. Uh, because she's young and shapely, uh, pretty, um, uh, he makes it plain that uh, he will accept uh, sexual favors in lieu of uh, hard cash. And this she uh, provides, and uh, uh, this is the first uh, step, really, uh, leading uh, uh, to a disastrous life. She is also filled with the need uh, to, to find some means of hard currency so she can support her daughter, Cosette, who is being um, watched over by a couple. Uh, she thinks that they're being uh, uh, conscientious uh, in this uh, effort, but uh, as it turns out, they are uh, characters who are rather Dickensian. Um, uh, the, the most I've seen uh, in, the, in French uh, material. Uh, and they're gougers and they're mean, <laughs> and uh, the little girl is forced to work. And uh, uh, actually, uh, later on, when the rescue of this little girl occurs, uh, it, it kind of called to my mind the, the story of Cinderella uh, and the difficulties that she had with her stepsisters and so forth. But at any rate, um, uh, she has to, Fantine, uh, earn some money, and she goes out on the street to do so. And, uh, of course, she has um, uh, difficulties at first, but um, uh, repetition in time and so forth, it, it becomes uh, easier for her to deal with, I suppose. This is not easy work. Uh, it's uh, difficult. Uh, and this is made clear by an episode in which uh, she is uh, sick and trembling and uh, she has become gaunt and uh, uh, the landlord is demanding currency and no longer will accept uh, sexual favors and she is forced to go out. Uh, she meets uh, three uh, drunken sports uh, and in her trying to plea her profession uh, she is mocked and uh, dealt with in a, um, uh, a bad pa uh, fashion, um, uh, both by mouth and hand. Uh, one of the uh, drunks uh, gets a handful of snow and dirt, uh, dirty ice, a sludge, and forces it down her dress, which is um, her only working dress, her only um, uh, means of uh, going out uh, and finding customers. Uh, and uh, this causes her to strike out at him. Uh, and this all occurs uh, in the presence of um, a, a good gendarme, so to speak, and Inspector Javert. I will say, parenthetically, uh, try to imagine uh, one of these young lawyers uh, for the um, uh, Justice Department, a young woman, uh, who had her only power black dress befouled. Uh, think of her dismay if she uh, had this occur and had to go before a judge. Um, so it was um, uh, even more desperate for Fantine. Um, she is threatened with arrest by um, uh, the inspector, and he and is, is fortunately for her overruled as uh, Jean Valjean's uh, character comes on the scene and as mayor um, uh, does so. Now, uh, I will say uh, in regard to this particular occupation that um, uh, she is not um, selling her body but uh, a service uh, over agreed upon uh, in terms of money. Uh, and time and or quantity uh, units uh, thereof. And uh, it's a very tough uh, um, uh, occupation for the uh, mind. Uh, and this kind of little episode uh, kind of flashed the, uh, the uh, mental difficulties uh, that um, uh, accrue to this profession, to the, to the girls. 
and why it is so often that uh, they resort to alcohol and drugs to uh, uh, help them cope. Um, the uh, uh, use of alcohol, cocaine, and, and so forth like this um, uh, kind of trap them also, but um, uh, the uh, customers are sometimes unpleasant as these sports were, and sometimes uh, uh, un unclean, sometimes uh, kinky, sometimes dangerous. So it all can lead to much in the way of uh, mental uh, stress, uh, putting aside, of course, the moral matter itself. Um, but um, uh, as one uh, professional once told me, uh, Egret, uh, they can't be too small or too quick. Uh, the, um, the pressure is there. But at any rate, uh, Javert uh, took uh, Fantine to his abode and instructed his housekeeper to look after the uh, sick, trembling uh, uh, woman. I, it is only at this point in time that uh, he learns about uh, her life, uh, how she has, how his firing her from the factory has not only been counterproductive but uh, injurious. Uh, how she uh, had been forced uh, into this uh, situation, how she uh, had a daughter, a cassette that um, she was trying to support, and, um, and so forth. Um, he uh, determines that he is going to go and get Cosette uh, and bring her back. Uh, he is beginning to fall in love with her, um, um, at least he thinks so, and um, uh, he thinks that by getting Cosette it might give her the strength to uh, recuperate. But it uh, unfortunately cannot uh, save the, uh, the woman who is uh, dying. Uh, he does uh, take from her a um, necklace with a cameo, which is a, a sort of a gesture she wishes uh, to give to her daughter, a gesture of family and uh, a generation and uh, continuity uh, and uh, a, something with which uh, she hopes at a uh, later date her daughter will perceive uh, with the love which she uh, bore for the daughter. But at any rate, uh, they are separated now, and the daughter is going up with little in the way of knowledge of her mother. Uh, and uh, we have uh, Valjean going uh, there to, uh, to rescue her, to fetch her, uh, and to be a sort of um, avuncular figure. Um, it, at this very time, is also um, occurred uh, a good deal of pressure um, from uh, Inspector Javert, for Javert had um, been getting increasingly suspicious of the, of the mayor. Uh, Javert had said um, uh, that he uh, basically uh, thought the mayor was one Val Jean that he had known in the prison quarry for uh, there was a certain, certain incident uh, uh, in, earlier in this uh, uh, town uh, before the uh, uh, Fantine matter uh, unfolded as it did that uh, we have a fellow named Lafitte who gets trapped under a uh, wagon, a horse cart, uh, and uh, the mayor lifts the cart, exhibiting in the kind of strength that uh, recalled in Inspector Javert's mind the um, the fellow Valjean he had known in prison and the great strength of this particular prisoner. It caused him to look a little bit sharper uh, and that uh, was one strong clue in a bunch of clues that there was something fishy about this mayor. Uh, he was uh, implacable in uh, his pursuit, uh, his interest in this particular prisoner. Uh, he goes to Paris and voices an opinion almost accusing uh, uh, the mayor and um, Although at this time Paris uh, is not willing to move on the mayor, the evidence is not conclusive, though it's inf interesting and it appears that uh, Jean Valjean has uh, either uh, destroyed um, vital statistic uh, evidence thereof, official, or, or managed to forge some, but at any rate uh, it was not possible for the inspector to nail him 
So um, the uh, uh, political um, uh, uh, interests of um, the uh, police gendarmerie um, was to let it lie, and um, th uh, this occurred. But uh, Inspector Javert uh, had brought himself into uh, attention by the high authorities as a man who was uh, uh, a good investigator uh, and uh, so forth. Now, uh, the um, uh, pressure is uh, continued by uh, Javert, however, uh, and he goes after uh, the mayor, and the mayor knows it. Valjean has uh, taken the, the time to um, liquidate his holdings, and he has turned his factory into an employee-owned um, institution, uh, of which there should be more, I think. Uh, but at any rate, uh, he is now uh, uh, full of loot, uh, liquid uh, assets, and um, he goes and gets Cosette. Cosette is a child forced to work while the uh, children of the uh, uh, couple who keep her are uh, playing and having a great time. So uh, she is uh, happy to be relieved of uh, life with this couple. Uh, she goes off with Cosette. Now, uh, Valjean does have papers uh, to establish his right here. Uh, he is a, a thoughtful and practical man. In fact, and it's kind of hard to conceive this um, character uh, that we meet, this wild, desperate uh, Valjean at the beginning of the film, and this uh, mayor and factory owner. It, um, it seems a little bit far-fetched, uh, actually. But at any rate, uh, he gets uh, Cosette and the loot, and they head for Paris. Uh, it just so happens that uh, about the same time, Inspector Javert is given a promotion uh, uh, in his call to Paris um, uh, to take a, a job. Well, uh, for some reason or other, uh, Valjean uh, heads for Paris, and Javert expects him to do so. So uh, he has the gendarmes all along the walled city, uh, old city, to, uh, to be on the lookout, to be alert for Valjean. Uh, you have to present papers to get into um, uh, Paris in these days. Um, it seems like um, in uh, uh, every uh, Masonic uh, regime, the, the tyranny of paperwork uh, is a must, uh, no matter where or what country. Uh, Western or communist or what have you. But at any rate, uh, here we have the same situation. Valjean does not want to uh, present any papers. Uh, he tells Cosette uh, to grab him around the neck and he scales the wall and leaps over what looks like an abyss onto the roof of a nunnery. Uh, it just so happens that uh, uh, the nunnery employs Lafitte. Uh, as a groundskeeper, maintenance-type fellow. Uh, this job had been gotten for uh, Lafitte uh, uh, after his uh, accident uh, where the horse cart fell on him by the mayor, uh, and now it's time for him to return the favor, uh, and he does so uh, claiming uh, Valjean and Cosette uh, as his uh, relatives. Uh, they are given temporary job uh, at the nunnery also, and um, Inspector uh, Javert in his new role in Paris uh, kind of chills out on the, uh, the chase and uh, goes about the other business because uh, there are revolutionaries running around Paris and uh, he had to um, thwart their, uh, their aims. Valjean, of course, has a bag full of loot, so it does not take him too long after things settle down to uh, establish himself in a nice pad. He takes Cosette. Uh, he plans to give her all the best and so forth. Uh, she uh, grows up into a woman, uh, the woman being Claire Danes. Uh, she, Claire Danes, gets interested in a street revolutionary played by Hans Matheson who is uh, orating to a crowd, uh, uh, trying to recharge them with the um, a revolutionary uh, fervor of uh, 1789 and thereabouts. Um, as uh, one would expect uh, in government, uh, there are spies about. Uh, Inspector Javert has uh, uh, undercover agents about. Uh, 
And I call to mind to young folks that governments always seem to have massive numbers of spies about uh, and uh, recommend, uh, once again, Mr. Frank Donner's The Age of Surveillance, uh, when I, which came out around 1980. Uh, he was a lawyer for the ACLU, I think. Uh, but at any rate, uh, uh, it's a good um, source material for those who would like to see about government spying. And I'm sure there are others. But uh, this uh, regime in uh, Paris at the time is, uh, in France, is not different, uh, and they have their undercover people about. One is attached to the group that this revolutionary orator is um, mingling with, and uh, of course they are planning revolution. Uh, now, when uh, Valjean uh, learns that Cosette is uh, hanging out with this guy, uh, he has fear for uh, what it may mean, both for her and for himself, uh, and he cautions her against it and tries to get her not to uh, to see this guy. Uh, she is uh, pretty much stuck on him. She does not understand his situation, thinks that he's just trying to uh, spoil her life and so forth, and she wants to get out and live and hot-blooded young girl and so forth. Well. Um, he can't stop this, apparently, uh, and um, uh, just as the um, spies of Inspector Javert are particularly interested in this orator uh, revolutionary, uh, they become interested also in his girlfriend, Cosette, and this leads them to the uh, Jean Valjean uh, character with his new identity. Skipping ahead now, a fellow ride up on a horse with a blood-red flag soon put before a firing squad and all shot down dead. Uh, Tate's coast sat with the approval of Aljean and heads for that citadel of masonry, England. Uh, mercy to uh, Valjean uh, and breaking the law, uh, suicide.